Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to my channel, Golden God here. Today we got an impressive video for you today. Uh, I went to Keystone Canner Remedies Dispensary and spent $1,800 on dispensary products and am going to cook with two uh, 1,000 milligram um, distillate cartridges that I picked up. And today's video, I just wanted to give you some information and open the box and I'll do a second part two video uh, after I've made the brownies with the distillate to let you know how I feel. This is Moxie's uh, Liquid Moxie Syringe 1 Gram Maui Wowie. The last time I heard the strain name Maui Wowie was in the movie Half Baked with Dave Chappelle. So that's, that's kind of interesting. But really excited to try this. This cost me... Uh, if this would have been Columbia Care, this would have been around like eighty to a hundred dollars. But right here, Moxie Dissolute Maui Wowie Sativa Syringe, it came to uh, seventy six dollars and eighty cents. And then it's getting uh, a four point five uh, stars review out of a possible five out of forty five reviews, and we'll read the description in a second. Uh, I figured what we'll do is oh, before I start smoking. Got to read the uh, the back to you. And while I read the back, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Click the like button, turn on notifications, and leave a comment down below. We're almost at we're almost close to 200 subscribers, and I want to do like a live stream special when we get to like 250 or a thousand subscribers. But anyway, Sativa batch number PR two one zero seven zero nine. Then there's a big lot number. Packager number 41, shipping number 10, packaged on July 12, 2021. THC, 80.59%, uh, 80 THCA 0%, THCV 0.58%, CBD 0%, CBC 0.67%, D8, Delta 8, THC 0%, CBDV 0%, CBN 0.04%, CBG 2.0%. One two percent, and it like I'm surprised that this was packaged so long ago, like last year in July, because it expires a year later. So this expires in July of this year. So so it's May. So this literally expires in two months. So I want to use it soon. Like it doesn't even have the terpenes listed on the back here. It just says please consult with your medical professional for dosing information. But I think I might have a page that has uh, the, ter the terpene profiles. Anyway, let's pop this open so we can we can take a look at it. But like I said, like in the video, like I'm not, we're not going to be uh, using this. Like I'm going to put it in edibles and what's ever left over then we can vape in my Yocan Evolve Plus uh, battery pen. It's got this really nice distillate sativa color not like that dark amber like live resin color thousand milligrams roughly they say a thousand milligrams but then it turns out that it's 800 milligrams so right there that's false advertising they're not the only company though like all the companies do it there we go okay put it back in here now it's a thousand milligrams, but technically eight hundred. But uh, I'll probably use like not both. Uh, this I'm not going to show you the the next uh, syringe until the following video. I do I, I'll do a video after that. But uh, right now we're smoking uh, the remaining eighth of my PT Star Dog number thirty six flower by Prime Wellness. And one more thing before we uh, move on and uh, read reviews and information and lineage uh, on on this product uh, on this product by Moxie here. Actually, maybe what I'll do for my thumbnail is this. Yeah, I gotta get better lighting. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to move the camera very carefully because 
I just yesterday, it was two months that my Girl Scout cookies Jack Carrera plant was trimmed and cured and I burped it and opened it every day for a half an hour, burped the end of the mason jar. I have Bovita humidity packs in them and also mini hygrometers. So yesterday I finally took the time, you'll see my Vivo Sun uh, mesh tray that you cut up your buds on and um, everything that I used. I even bought this like $25 can of brush that you literally like the ends of the brush can brush off like the end flower trimmings and everything. So let's pick this up very nicely. See, I'm looking, I can't tell like what, what, what you can see. Hold on, let me, let me see if I can change this. Come on. Why can't I just like flop it? Like switch it over anyway. Okay, hopefully you're seeing uh, everything here. We got the, uh, we got the bud up here. The Girl Scout cookie, Jack Carrera. This right here is uh, the trimmings that I will use for um, cooking, uh, making can of butter. We got the Bovita humidity packs right here. And this was a good pickup for like 50 bucks. You can get this Viva Sun mesh tray that comes with, uh, it didn't come with this one, but it comes with a few pre precision trays. And also got my, uh, my Keef here that I'll be cooking with. And this can of brush, this thing is awesome. I highly recommend you pick one up. I wanted to do a video on this and I did. I made a one minute video so I could put it up on my Instagram. And I was gonna put it up on my YouTube channel and I accidentally deleted the damn thing. So I hope that you were able to uh, see some of that there. Okay. All right. Back to, back to it, okay. Is it me or does it look blurry? Hmm. What's AFL? Okay, that looks better now. Okay. All right. Back to it. Okay. Uh, Maui Wowie, 4.5 out of 5 stars. Moxie Seeds and Extracts was founded in 2015 to serve the growing demand for cannabis extraction by making oils and other extracted forms of cannabis. Moxie serves the needs of patients who prefer or require an alternate means of consumption rather than smoking. Moxie was formed by a group of professionals with backgrounds in cultivation, extraction, and retail by employing techniques, technology, and, pr and procedures typically found in the pharmaceutical industry. Moxie produces the highest quality cannabis concentrates in the world. Now, if somebody could leave me in the comments, you know that shitty soda called Moxie that's from like the 1800s, like that my grandparents still drink? That's not the same company, is it? But the logos look almost identical. It's like Dove Chocolate and Dove Soap. Like, they have like almost the same logo. They're spelled the same, but they're two different. They're two completely different companies. Okay, um, Sativa. Here we're on the next page. MenusDutchie.com. It's saying seventy-six to seventy-seven percent, but ours is eighty-four percent. CBD zero point one four percent effects you're going to feel creative energetic it being a sativa and all focused happy and inspired here's terpenes the top terpenes beta mercine 0.408 percent linalool 0.024 percent and pinene 0.152 percent um also to not not to get grossed out or anything but edibles don't really usually get me high i ate 2,000 milligrams of rso oil now, apparently I didn't eat it with enough. I only put it on one Reese's peanut butter cup and not the whole 2000 milligrams, like a whole syringe. I, I put sublingually under my tongue and literally I took the other one then like an hour and a half later felt nothing from it. So I, I spoke to a pharmacist at the Keystone Can of Remedies <clears throat> because I told them that uh, I was gonna cook with one and use the other one to uh, use uh, as a 
suppository, whatever the the uh, verb word would be, suppositorily. And uh, they were very, very uh, interested in it so much that they said to uh, definitely call us back and let us know uh, how the effects are because uh, we've never done that ourselves. But I've looked it up on Reddit and people have tried it and said that they've got extremely high. It doesn't have to go through your liver. It just has to get into your bloodstream. And that's what a big debate was online. So that's what I might do since it... For some reason, on the 20 or 30 percent of people that I am either ha don't have an enzyme that breaks down the THC to get you high off the edible, which really bums me out because I see how high people get off edibles, and my tolerance is so high. Like, I could smoke a blunt of this stuff and go do anything and people not know that I'm high at all and this is strong strong stuff all right back to it uh you can read about moxie's brain here because we're running out of time here um maui wowie uh is maui wowie strong maui wowie's thc content typically ranges between 13 and 19 percent they're talking about the uh the dry bud now maui wowie is a sativa dominant 80 20 bud that is high energizing euphoria uplift inducing and uplifting our moxie carts in any good in conclusion our moxie cart reviewed showed it makes for a great vaping experience it is not the strongest of the bunch and hardware improves could help but it delivers top-notch taste they're showing a cartridge here they're not showing the 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 uh extract uh stuff here the uh dissolute Understanding the Maui Wowie strain, also referred to as the Maui Wowie strain, that this is the hybrid that is mostly sativa, which is deemed a top of the line strain. Uh, is Maui Wowie good for beginners? You can look that up there. Uh, I'm trying to look for the uh, the lineage here, but I'll leave this uh, description. I'll leave this URL in the description below. That's one, two, three, four, five. We got five different pages. Here's Leaf Fly. 38,000 people favorited Maui Wowie as their favorite bud. It's getting a 4.35 4.3 stars out of a possible 5 at a 16 at a almost 1700 reviews. Maui Wowie also known as Maui Wowie with an i at the end and Maui Wowie is a classic sativa strain made from a cross of here's the lineage, a cross of Hawaiian and another strain that remains unknown. Hmm. Mysterious. This strain features tropical flavors and stress-relieving qualities that will float you straight to the shores of Hawaii, where this strain originally comes from. Since its beginning in the island's volcano, volcanic soil, Maui Wowie has spread across the world to bless us with its sweet pineapple flavors and high euphoria. Lightweight effects allow you to um, allow your mind to drift away to creative escapes, while Maui Wowie motivating active effects may be all you need to get outside and enjoy the sun. This tall, lanky strain is best suited for cultivation in warm, tropical climates that mirror its homeland. But a bright environment and nutrient-rich soil are typically adequate, adequate, adequate for indoor growing. And in a separate video, I'll show you my whole growing uh, tent that, that I that I paid a lot of money for. That was Leafy there, and I will leave in the description here uh, the last website, WikiLeaf. You're going to get dry eyes, cotton mouth. You're going to feel creative, common usage for depression, loss of appetite, and anxiety. That's going to be the video for today. I hope everybody enjoyed our little, not not so much a review because I haven't tried it yet, but a uh, uh, unboxing history lesson on Maui Wowie's dissolute cartridges. Well, dissolute one gram cartridge. And I will let you know how uh, it fares as an edible, and how it fares as, as a suppository. Now, obviously, it would make sense to use the syringe first for the edible instead of using the syringe first up the back end and then using it in, the, in, in uh, you know, squeezing it out into food. You know, that's just common sense. I'm not, you know, I'm not gross or anything like that. Actually, with my OCD, I'm a pretty clean person. So, I hope everybody enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe, click the like button, turn on notifications, leave a comment down below. And I'll see everybody in the next video, which is also another uh, different company's dislit syringe.
All right. I'll see everybody. Peace.